everybody. Today the discussion is all about some cheap, cheap makeup, some dollar store stuff, some really surprising items that I think you're going to be like, what? That's really a dollar? You know, there are some great things that I've found. Also some not so great things. I've got like an equally sized pile of some duds that I'm going to tell you about also. Um, a lot of this stuff is LA Colors brand because that is a brand that's heavily sold in different dollar stores where I live. I've also got a few things from Shop Miss A which is a website. It's kind of like an online beauty accessories dollar store and I've got a few things to share from there also. But sort of the new dollar store makeup news to tell you about is that LA Colors has launched a little like $1 kiosk or one dollar little makeup stand where certain products and I think a lot of them are newer things that they've put out specifically for this one dollar line. I will let you know when we come across some of those items in this video a lot of those things were sent to me and then I was kind of intrigued enough by what else you know from LA Colors is out there because they still have a full line in a store such as Family Dollar or Fred Super Dollar or wherever you are. So I investigated a little further and I've got some of that stuff to tell you about as well. So I'm going to jump in. I'm going to try not to spend too much time on any one thing because I've got a lot to talk about. But I'm going to get the misses out of the way first. A lot of these things are coverage type products that just did not work for me. First thing, this LA Colors liquid makeup. This product is not from the $1 line. I have it in creamy beige. I am wearing it today and any coverage you see on my skin is kind of from a mishmash of other things that I put on to get coverage because this makes me think of just a glorified tinted moisturizer. I mean it really, after I put it on I thought what's on my skin? Besides a little added moisture. It really did not show up. So that's a no-go for me. Also, they have something called wet to dry makeup. Um, I think they kind of branded this like a cream to powder type thing. And I have this in the shade light. It's a little sponge and then just the thickest cream you've ever felt. It feels kind of like clay. I don't see it going from cream to powder at all. It's just thick, kind of cakey. It's too heavy on the skin. The same can be said for the LA Colors concealer stick. All of this stuff is LA Colors so far, by the way. Um, um, all of this is part of their regular line, not the $1 stuff. But this concealer stick in light, the smell, it does have that strong, like, kind of grandma's floral perfume type scent, which is really strange, but a lot of, you know, cheaper makeup products have that. And when you think concealer from the dollar store, I mean, this is it. You know, it's thick, it's not very creamy, there's not a nice slip to this product across the skin. Once you get it on, it just looks very makeup-y. There are other great drugstore stick concealers out there, this is just not one of them. Additionally, this concealer, this is their, you know, concealer that's a little more liquidy with a wand. This is probably the least bad out of the, you know, face products I've tried. It did okay for a little bit of brightening, but there's just no coverage, and it is called a concealer, so I kind of want it to, you know, cover some things. But I had this in the shade light and it's just, you know, I'm not going to be using that. Now from the little special new $1 stuff, they have come out with various sticks that say contour stick on them. I've got one that looks like a classic kind of contouring shader, like a deep bronzy color. Um, one that says bronzer and this has shimmer, also a little bit of glitter in that stick. You've got a highlighter that is a soft kind of pearly color and then you've got a light to medium shade for your highlighting. This does not have shimmer. This is the only one in the set that seemed to be workable for me. These others I found to be really difficult to blend and it might be that this is the kind of thing I would use maybe hand in hand with a concealer product to get right in here in this area, brighten it up, um, work nicely in contrast with my skin tone. It was just a little bit lighter than my skin. I was able to blend it. It does have some coverage. The highlighter stick just I couldn't make that show up enough so that's a little too subtle for me and then the contour stick I found very difficult to blend out. Keep in mind you know you're gonna probably already have some sort of foundation on your skin and then you go putting this on I found it very hard to blend and the bronzer formula just the look of this product is not my style. I don't like to see the flecks of glitter. Another no-go for me would be this volume flash mascara and it does look kind of like a mini size. This is being sold for a dollar. Um, my main gripe is this kind of a brush. There's some pretty wide gaps in between those spiraled around bristles and that doesn't lend itself to really good separation. So needless to say this gives me a very like barely there look to my lashes. I'm not a big fan. Also kind of a big letdown for me um, and these are one dollar products. They've got these pout lip glosses matte. So these are their matte liquid lipsticks and they have some beautiful shades. Like I love this color. Um, it's called Let's Kiss and I had high hopes for it. I put it on. I'm like yes this looks beautiful. It's pigmented. It goes 
goes on, you know, very full color with the applicator. It's got a nice little flattened doe foot that I really enjoy. But my issue with this is that it doesn't really dry down. It just becomes so sticky. I even took like a little video on my phone of my lips like trying to pull them apart and there's that very uncomfortable cling between your lips as they just sit there because it just stays sticky. It doesn't totally dry down. It doesn't stay nice and creamy. It just gets to this weird sticky place and it's the kind of product you just want to take off your lips right away. It's unfortunate because they've got some gorgeous shades available. Now perk your ears up because I've got some things that definitely are a hit and in this same one dollar range um, you're going to find this again in like a freestanding little display in Family Dollar from LA Colors. They've got the Pout Lip Gloss Super Shine. These are great. These are full color glosses. They're comfortable on the lips. I'm wearing one of them today. Let's see, I'm wearing this one in Moi. And um, it's a pretty berry shade. You know, just one pass around the lips. I feel like I got really good color. They're very comfortable, non-sticky, and they have a nice little range of shades. This red one's really pretty too, called Hot Lips. It's a red with a little bit of shimmer. Like it. Also from the $1 selection, they've got some false lashes. Anytime I see falsies for a dollar and they look remotely workable, I'm, I'm all in. You know, I'm going to go for that. And a lot of times I swear you're getting some of the very same styles that you see sold by Ardell for, you know, several dollars more. So I am wearing a set of these lashes today. I think the style I've got on is called Diva. Um, I also have this style called Delightful, and that definitely reminds me of, like, um, a Salon Perfect or an Ardell 110. They are selling some matte eyeshadow quads for a dollar, and they are surprisingly good. Um, I would highly recommend these. I'm wearing one of these little quads today um, in the shade Mattifying, so this is going to be like your classic neutral. You've got that you know, nice, easy, medium brown, dark brown, peach, and cream. It's so basic, but really good stuff. Easy to blend, easy to work with, maybe a little bit powdery, but it's nothing I'm not used to, you know, tap off the excess, people. They also have, in comparison to this one, this would be your, like, cool neutrals. This is called Matterific. You got a couple of taupes, a cream, kind of a charcoal gray. I also was really impressed with this kit for kind of a smoky look. This is called Matarama, and you have a pop of blue there a matte black, a gray, and a white. Uh, plenty of impact from all of those shades. Um, the one quad that didn't quite hit the mark for me so much was this one in Magnificent. It's not bad, but I wanted a little more out of those purples, and purples are a hard shade for a lot of brands to get right, so, you know, you'll have that a lot. But the purples are more sheer, and then you've got this navy blue and light pink as well. But all the shades truly are matte. Um, they're not satin finishes. They're not just borderline. They are matte quads. And for one dollar, I mean, I was really pleased with those. Even not just for one dollar. You know, these are good quality matte drugstore shadows. What else do I have here from that one dollar stand? I've got a brow product. Um, this is the LA Colors Brow Pencil, and I have it in medium. I like this just fine. I mean, this tone was not too warm for my brows. It's just like a nice, cool medium brown. And for me to just fill in a few key places, it worked fine. Now, I will say, I know some of you are completely recreating a brow, and it might not be quite so easy from that respect. This is the kind of color it gives off, and while, yes, you can sharpen it, you're not going to have maybe that precision that you're used to if you often pick up a NYX Micro Brow, Anastasia Brow Wiz, that new L'Oreal pencil that's just like the other two. You know, this is a pencil that you gotta sharpen, and that may be a pain to some people, but it does have the little brush on the end, and for just a few little key areas, if you're kind of like me and you just have small places to fill in, this worked fine. Oh, another one dollar thing. This is not LA colors, but I got a Body Fantasies uh, vanilla body spray just so I could be taken back to my days of junior high when I was always wearing like vanilla fields all the time. Yeah, it's, it's totally that scent. <laughs> now some non one dollar products, but still very affordable products from LA Colors that I turned up um, that I really like. This brush duo. This is such a hidden gem. This is the uh, eye shader and blender brush duo. And these are really soft brushes. They are just super great to work with. This blending brush, a lot of times I get asked for an alternative to the Sigma E40 because that's kind of, you know, like 95% of the time the thing I pick up to blend out an eye look. But this one, I tell you, the size is right. You could apply a little shadow with this if you wanted to, but it's not too big, but it's very soft. It's very nicely tapered and it works great just blending out your eye look. And then this other one, it's kind of like one of those flat brushes, but it's still a little bit full. So I 
could see this packing some shadow on the lid or getting it up into the crease. If you've got really small eyes, you might find this just a little bit oversized. But overall, just the quality, the cut of these, the evenness of the cut, the taper, the feel of the bristles, these really, really surprised me. I got just a very basic pressed powder that I really liked from this line. It looks like this, and it's in the shade Nude for me. And this has kind of gotten into my rotation for a little under eye setting powder or just a little light, you know, T-zone powder, very matte. You know, it's not the kind of thing I would probably throw on all over the face just because, I don't know, I, I try to stay away from that if I can because a lot of powders just look too powdery all over your face. But you know the areas where you need some powder and this has worked fine and it was just a couple dollars. I got this cool um, mosaic bronzing powder. It's in the shade Sunkissed Bronze. And something about this tone I think looks really good on my skin tone. It's very goldeny. I don't know that I would really use this as a contour, but something about it lightly all over the skin seems to look really nice. And it's pigmented. It's not one of those hard as a rock powders where you've got to scrub your brush onto it to pick anything up. And one of the biggest shockers of this whole little experiment for me was probably this duo blush from LA Colors. Because I've got an LA Colors like single blush in my collection and it just, it, it's a does nothing product. Like you can't get color off of it. It's so hard. It's, it's just not good to work with. And this is in papaya and nutmeg. Not sure which is which, but this blush over here, this little bit deeper side, it reminds me of the Balm's Hot Mama. I'm wearing it today. You get that pinky peachy thing happening on the cheeks with a little golden sheen. And then I do find myself going for this soft peach shade, just kind of blending up over the top. It gives kind of a um, little bit more perfected look. Now, before I move on to the Shop Miss A stuff, I want to talk about a few of the products that were just in the middle. As you guys know, you know, not everything's a total hit or a total miss. And these are, again, things from just the $1 collection from LA Colors. They've got these little nail duets, and they are so cute. So you got like two little bottles they are kind of enclosed in this plastic cap and these are they're okay. <laughs> they look nice on my nails right after application. I just found them to chip very quickly. You've got like this little mint green duo. You've got a pinky duo. They got a black and a gold here. I think there was a nude and gold glitter that I've got downstairs, but I had used the nude one and the mint one. I found them both to chip very quickly. Now, in addition to those matte liquid lipsticks that I could not go for, they've got just some um, matte regular lipsticks, some good shades you know, like a berry sort of purplish color, a red, a nude. These are good, but not great. You know, they do feel a little drying on the lips. They don't feel uncomfortable and sticky like those others, but you know, there are definitely better matte lipstick options. They have kind of that drying feel and a little bit of a skip across your lips as you try to put them on. Another thing they've got are these lip duos. So it's a like classic full-size lipstick on one side and a gloss on the other side. While these are nice, comfortable, creamy lipsticks, and I do think they're pigmented. The glosses are very slippery. Lip glosses need to have enough of a cling on your lips to last, and that doesn't have to feel uncomfortable, but it's like there's got to be just enough thickness to a gloss so you don't feel like, gosh, it's just slipping outside my lips constantly. And these are very thin, almost a little bit greasy feeling glosses. So I don't hate these products, but I think you need to be pretty careful, particularly if you're going for one that's got like a bright red gloss underneath. I, I'd be very careful with that. Now, from Shop Miss A, I freaking love this bag that I got for a dollar, little canvas bag. Blending is my cardio these days. Yes, yes it is. All the stuff on Shop Miss A is a dollar. So for a dollar each, I got these um, Santee Sunkissed Mineral Formula SPF 20. And they look like little blush duo type things. Remind me a lot of something Milani had out years ago. And they're great. There's nice pigmentation. I love this kind of mauve shade with that neutral peach. This one looks like kind of a satiny finish in the pan, but comes off very matte on my skin. And then I also got Sunrise. And so here you've got that nice corally shade and a little bit deeper, more brownish um, tone there. Now they also have this line of Princessa eyeshadows and they're just single shadows. And I thought, okay, I'll just get a couple. Turns out the couple that I chose are very close in color, but the quality on these is really good. Really nice pigmentation. This is 836. 
This is um, kind of a satiny finish, like a rusty brown type color. Then I have 827, which seems to be just a classic like matte brown, maybe a little bit of a satiny finish to that one. But they're super soft. They're only a dollar. I was really impressed with those. And like I said, they seem to have a pretty big selection of colors there. And because we just can't get away from LA Colors in this video, I saw that they were selling some of these five color palettes for a dollar on Shop Miss A. So I got this Tea Time one. And it's not necessarily that I would do a full look with all of these shades because everything is equally metallic and shiny, but there are certain ones that I just thought, wow, these are so pretty. I wonder if everybody knows about them. Like these pretty like rosy, deep, dusty rose taupe, you know, kind of interesting things. And even this color right here could be like a fun highlight shade. Um, if you wanted to just add some interesting metallics to your collection, I thought, well, that's kind of a neat thing for a dollar. So there you have it, everybody. Everybody, some hits, some misses from the dollar store price range. I hope this was helpful to you. Maybe you discovered a few things that you might look into the next time you're at the dollar store. And you know me, I just love finding those unlikely good products, those products that surprise me. Love being surprised by some cheap thing that really works well. Oh, I forgot. There was one thing that I left out of my little discussion of average products, and that was this eyeliner. It's the, one of the $1 things from LA Colors. It says just liquid eyeliner and I have it in black. This is a pretty good product. It's not 100% waterproof, but it does wear well throughout the day. My only gripe about it is that it doesn't dry down matte. And I've tried enough like pretty cheap eyeliners like from Jordana that totally satisfy me and do the job. So I don't really feel like I need to scramble for a $1 liner, but it does have just a little pointed felt tip thing going on there. And it applies easily, but I just wish it dried down totally matte. This does seem to just have a little unusual shine to it and when you're not putting lashes on top and you see that it's like it hits the light in certain ways and your liner looks uneven. Okay now I'm really done. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.